Good morning, folks. As you can see from the X-ray flares flashing, it was a pretty active day on our star. The incoming sunspot group has bounced back very nicely. It's delivered two level 2 radio blackouts to Earth among multiple M-class solar flares. The first few didn't register much in terms of ejecta, just a small amount, but a beautiful CME is seen erupting from the latter eruptions as umbral fields broke wide open and released their plasma and charged particles into space. Unfortunately, SOHO has data missing as only seems to happen during large CMEs and sundiving comets, but even with this satellite feed cutting out, we can tell from the direction of the burst on SDO it's likely going to miss Earth to the left or behind us in our orbital trajectory took a gamma-ray burst late last night from the northern celestial axis, that's Ursa Minor, delivering this latest gamma flash. We got an Earth-facing coronal hole right now, but you'll remember from yesterday the coronal fields pinching that opening, and now we see the power has been dropping for two straight days, leaving our quake watch stymied. Looking at three days of solar wind shows an end to a coronal hole stream as speed and plasma temperature head down. As those particles calm, the electron flux becomes the electron quiet and the Earth's protective magnetic shield is doing very well this morning. Top news story. The mechanism of aluminum toxicity to plants is now known. Membrane binding can cause loss of characteristics needed for root elongation in as little as five minutes of exposure. This is important because most geoengineering schemes involve spraying aluminum oxides in the sky, which could leave us at the mercy of Monsanto when they fall to the ground, who owns all the aluminum-resistant crop patents. Boo. Then this, the NRAO hit a home run here. They have pierced the cloud layer of Venus with radar and delivered the best ever surface images from our inner neighbor. Let the electrical scarring banter begin. So we've still got the Indian Ocean Cyclone, but with all those solar flares, we also saw multiple Uyen candidate formation events in the moments immediately following the flares over here. All of these are worth watching, especially Pam, which looks to be ready to dive south towards New Zealand. In the United States, the pattern of moisture flow doesn't change, just shifted east a bit. The flash flooding will be along tonight's convergence with storms to the south and the potential for snow north of where the tropical heat can reach up. We've still got the Mediterranean low over in Europe, but I'm now focusing on two lows, two convergences, two cloud lines, two reasons to be on alert at the coastlines. Next one, on deck right behind it. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. I'll point out the filaments as well in 193 angstroms. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.